Hello. So the last time I did one of these videos, my hair was yellow. Ew! I don't want to talk about it. I didn't back then and I still don't now, so that's okay. But I'm not going to do a whole long intro or anything because if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you know what a closet cleanout is, all that stuff. Pretty common knowledge. Yeah, it's September 1st today and I'm really excited for fall. Fall is my favorite season, autumn, whatever you want to call it. And I told myself that if I go thrifting again, I have to go through my closet first. I just have too much clothing. I haven't gone thrifting in a long time. I'm really proud of myself. I haven't bought any clothes in a long time partially because I don't have any money but we're gonna pretend it's because I have good self-control <laughs> anyway I just need to clean up my closet because I have so much clothing that I don't actually wear and I just don't like the way it fits me it's just like such a waste when I know that someone else will probably enjoy it rather than it just sitting in my closet so yeah but anyway if you're new here you should like and subscribe smash that motherfucking like button I always say something that really embarrasses me, but look at these socks my sister got me. Anyway, let's get into it before I bore you. Okay, so I got some before shots of my closet before I started filming and everything. So you can see the way my closet is laid out. This top area here, tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. So I'm just gonna go through each one. Do I like it? Do I love it? Do I hate it? You know? Anyway, let's start with tank tops. And no, none of my hangers match. Love this. Turtleneck tank top, red one, absolutely love. Might crop it, might just leave it. This tank top, I haven't worn this in a long time, but I do love it. It's a little pink number. I'll keep it. This I'm definitely donating. I got from American Eagle like three years ago, just because a friend told me it would look nice. And then I just never really wore it again. Don't really like it, so donate this i got on depop beautiful to my brats video if you want to see it on and in action this i thrifted i don't know if i love the way it fits me it's such an awkward like it's a medium and i'm usually a medium but it fits me so box like so i'm gonna put it in a maybe pile and i'll try it on and see if maybe there's some way i can rework it but yeah this i thrifted years ago literally in like 2016 and it's beautiful. My boobs have gotten a bit bigger since then, so I do have a little bit of a struggle fitting the girls in, but it's beautiful, so I'm keeping it. And then, classic, a sweater vest I thrifted also in like maybe 2017 or something. I love sweater vests. I I know they were like super popular in 2020 and now they're kind of like not, but I love them before the trend and I'll love them after the trend. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And then this I also thrifted. Love it. It's a fun little asymmetrical bottom blue shirt keeping. And then I have a black version of that pink tank top. I thrifted them both, which is crazy. I just found the same brand in the thrift store, like years apart, which was kind of crazy. And I love them both. So this shirt, I don't know. I got it from Urban Outfitters literally in like 2015. It's like a crushed velvet with lace. And I do enjoy the vibes it gives. Like it gives me very fall energy, I think. Like whimsy goth, if that's okay to say. I'll put it in my maybe pile as well. I have to try it on. I haven't worn it or reached for it in a long time, but I could make it work, so we'll see. And then I have another sweater vest. This one's like a different fit and I'm keeping it. I love it. It's 100% cashmere, which is like super expensive, but I got it for $4 at a thrift store, so winning. And then the last tank top. That was almost really bad. The last tank top is just a plain black sweater vest that I got from H&M a couple years ago. I never reached for this either. I don't think I like the way it fits, but I will put it in maybe pile. So I try it on and kind of get a feel. Okay, now we're gonna move on to t-shirts. So this first one here I got from H&M, like peak pandemic, like 2020. And I do think it's beautiful. It's like one of these little puff sleeve white tops. Have I ever worn it out of the house? No, but I have gotten like multiple pictures in it. Like I'll put them somewhere on the screen, but I am gonna keep it because I do think there's lots of ways I can wear this and make this work and might be controversial, but I do think it's kind of a staple. So this shirt, I got this at American Eagle a few years ago. I'm gonna keep it. it we've been through so much together. <laughs> That's so cringy to say, but we have been through so much together. And I think there's like endless ways you can style this. Like I've worn it with a turtleneck underneath and so many things for the winter time. And then it looks cute in the summer. So I definitely think I'll keep that. <sighs> this shirt. I got it on sale at Urban Outfitters. I do like it, but I kind of hate the O zipper. 
I can probably take it off somehow. I went through like a phase when I had like, when my hair was like super black. Everyone always told me I looked really good in red. And I mean, I do enjoy wearing red, but at the same time, I feel like red's not really me. I think it's just a cute, like simple shirt. I do want to get rid of the zipper though. Like the, I don't know what it is about the circle zippers. They just kind of give me the ick. I kind of hated saying give me the ick because I never say that. This I'm keeping. I thrifted this literally like seven years ago. Such a cute little striped tee. I have to tie it in the back because it's kind of loose, but super cute. And then this I got from Abercrombie & Fitch. Probably the only thing I've ever bought from Abercrombie & Fitch, if I'm being honest, because I don't shop there. It was $12 I got a few years ago. One of my only yellow shirts and I'm keeping it. I like it. These. These are basically a package deal. In like 2019, I went to Vancouver for my cousin's wedding and well, it was like outside of Vancouver, like the greater Vancouver area. It was like Mission, whatever. If you know where Mission is, it was in Mission. And my brother and I decided to drive downtown Vancouver the next day by ourselves to go shopping downtown. And I was like, I want to go to Brandy Melville because in Canada, you can't buy Brandy Melville anywhere unless you go in store. And yet there's only like a store in Vancouver and Toronto, maybe Montreal. I don't know, but went to Brandy Melville and I hate the company. I do not support Brandy Melville. I absolutely despise everything that they stand for and about them and I would never shop there again, but I do own two of their shirts. So I'm going to put the blue one in the maybe pile to try on and see. I think I remember it being like quite short on me. Brandy Melville is made for like a size double zero who's like five five. So I am none of those things. So their clothes don't really fit me right. I love this color. This is like my favorite color. It's a little button up shirt. I'll put it in the maybe pile as well, but I think I remember it being really short on me too. And I just hate super cropped shirts. It's just not for me, so. This I thrifted a long time ago and cropped because it was like a peplum style top, but the way it, the peplum was, I had to crop it pretty short. So I think it's like, it's like quite short. God, I'm gonna have so much stuff to try on, but I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Oh, do I need to? Okay, I'll put the Brandy Melville one in the donate pile and the button up one in the maybe pile because they're basically the same color. I do not need two cropped blue shirts, you know? <sighs> this shirt. I thrifted this last summer. Definitely made like a thrift haul on my channel, like a thrifting vlog or whatever. And I love the fun little like businesswoman button up that's sheer. But with this color of blue, I found it, it's just so hard to style and I just never reach for it. So I am gonna donate it, which makes me kind of sad, but it's been a year and I still haven't found a way to style it properly. So it should go to someone who's gonna do it better justice than I ever did, so. <laughs> this shirt I wear all the time. Got it at Walmart, kid section. Love it. I've had it for years, so. This one. I got this at Urban Outfitters as well. Can you tell I like a good button-up collar shirt moment? I wore this all the time in 2018 with like a gray sweater on top so the lime green was peeking through. And I love the fabric of the shirt and lime green is so fun. I don't really have anything lime green, but it's super short. <sighs> And it did get like a little run in it, if you can see that. Literally like the first week I got it. Like Urban Outfitters is such garbage quality. I don't shop there anymore, but I'm gonna keep it because I really like the color and I do think I can pull out a look with it. You know what I mean? This shirt, I think I got it at Urban Planet <laughs> like a long time ago and I like it. It's just a cute little striped like mock neck. I don't know if it's really in style. I really don't worry about certain things being in style. I just like, Certain days you just want to wear something and a t-shirt and jeans like this just looks cute, you know? This. <laughs> I am donating this for sure. It's just like a wrap up gray t-shirt, which is like kind of cute, but I got it like when I first turned 19, which is the drinking age here, and I wear it to the bar a lot and just kind of gives me like bad memories. And I don't really like tie up shirts anyway. So this baby tee I got from H&M, kind of a funny story. I thought it was, I needed like, $10 more for free shipping, so I got this. I thought the Misfits on here was for the TV show because I was obsessed with the TV show when I was younger, like way too young to be watching that TV show because it's quite explicit if I remember, but I was obsessed with it. And Robert Sheehan in that show, oh my God, life-changing for me. It was like right after my City of Bones phase, I was obsessed with Robert Sheehan, so I watched Misfits. And then, yeah, I was also obsessed with Jace, but I don't remember watching any of the other movies he was in. Like, you know, when you're younger or even now, <laughs> you get like obsessed with an actor. So you watch like all the movies they're in. Robert Sheehan in Misfits. 
and Robert Sheehan in that one movie with Rupert Grant. So good. Not the movie, but you know. Anyway, that was such a long tangent, but it's actually for the band. Yes, I've listened to a few Misfits songs. I'm not gonna lie, it's not like super up my alley. I do love like metal music. Is Misfits metal? I'm gonna get so much hate for this. I really... But yeah, so I get a little nervous when I wear it, but it's perfect in the winter time if you're wearing like a flannel on top or something. And then for the last t-shirt is the black version of that green shirt I have. They were like two for five or something when I got them. They're like nice material and I wear them pretty often, so. Long sleeve shirts. I think this is my biggest section. I just love a good long sleeve shirt. I'm not even gonna talk about this. It's a plain white long sleeve shirt. Like, yeah, I'm keeping that. This I thrifted, just like a red turtleneck. It's a size large, which I'm not usually a size large, but sorry, I've got the hiccups. I'm not usually a size large, but I make it work. And in the winter time, it's, you know, you kind of like your clothes to be a little bit bigger anyway, so. I absolutely know I'm keeping these three. I have this vintage garage shirt. If you see anything in the thrift store with this garage label, you're in for a treat because they are amazing. I look for them on Depop all the time. I've kind of stopped shopping on Depop because everything is so overpriced and honestly like for the, they're selling them for like Urban Outfitters price. Like I've seen things that I've donated to my thrift store on Depop for like $70 and I thrifted them originally, you know what I mean? So it's crazy. Like they'll literally be labeled my hometown and I'm like wow that's literally the exact item I donated that I thrifted three years Years ago for five dollars and now it's on sale for eighty dollars anyway that's my depop rant i kind of hate depop so yeah but if you don't live anywhere near thrift stores or something and you are on depop look up garage and if it has that label get it and then i also have the pink one from the same brand and i love this shirt i got it in like 2019 and we've been through thick and thin together <laughs> So, love it. And then I recently thrifted this one. I guess not that recently. I wore it on my birthday, which was April. I think I thrifted it in like March. It's by New Look. I just love a funky long sleeve shirt. Something about it is just gonna do it for me every single time. So why mess with something that works, you know? Now this is such a cute cardigan, but like I got it in a size large, which usually is fine, but it's quite oversized. So when I cropped it, I accidentally cropped it too short and it's just like kind of baggy so it doesn't fit right. I love the color, like I absolutely love this color. So I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile and try it on and just kind of see how it fits me because I actually haven't worn it in a while, but if I can keep a cardigan, I'm gonna keep a cardigan because I literally wear them every day in the, I almost said summer, but I literally wear them every day in like fall and winter. So this is just another plain stripe. Can you sense a theme? I love stripes and I love blue. I'm keeping this. And another funky, <clears throat> another funky long sleeve shirt. This is amazing. I love this one. I got it on Depop. Long story short, it took two months to come to my house and the seller was like really rude to me, but Depop vibes. Now this is mental illness. That was a joke for those unaware, but I am mentally ill, so I'm allowed to make these jokes. Um, I got this at Garage. It was a dark time of my life when I had like the worst friend of my life. Why am I getting so deep? Like, see what I mean? It's so hard for me to get rid of clothes because I really do carry so many memories with them. But I used to wear this every day to work when I worked at a grocery store underneath my like grocery store t-shirt because it was cold. <sighs> I love this color green and it honestly just looks good under everything. So I'm keeping it. And I might be crazy, but this is such a different fit. It's like an oversized, like cropped green shirt and I'm keeping it too. God. I have such a fucking problem because I also have a turtleneck that's cropped and exactly that color too. But the problem isn't that we're being too brutal. I'm just getting rid of stuff that doesn't bring me joy anymore. So don't judge me, please. Like, I can't handle it. Um, I have two of these, just Carhartt long sleeve shirts. I haven't worn them yet. My grandma bought them for my grandpa, but he, um, he doesn't need them anymore. We'll just say that much, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so my grandma gave them to my brother, but my brothers are both too tall for a size medium in Carhartt. So I got them. So this one my sister gave me because she bought it on Shein. I don't shop on Shein. I can't speak. I don't shop on Shein anymore. I did like a couple times to get jewelry and stuff, but she gave it to me and I'm never gonna wear this. I'm just never gonna wear it, so donate. And then this I also got from Urban Outfitters. I just don't like the way it fits. I think the color is beautiful. The shirt's cute. It's just not a good fit for me, so donate. And then I have the gray version of the Carhartt shirt as well. 
God, I've got so many long sleeve shirts. Last few, don't worry. I used to wear this under my um, grocery store uniform all the time too. It's such Alina Gilbert vibes, but I like it in the winter time. It's so easy to just layer it and like not have to worry. Or if you're like going like skiing or winter time, you just put under like a jacket or whatever. This shirt also has a story. I got it from Unif, like it's an actual Unif shirt. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, I got it from Unif in like 2015 or 16. It was like when I first, my first job ever was in like 2016 and then you know had their boxing day sale and I got a couple things and this is so fun I wanted to wear it to a Tyler the Creator concert I went to in like 2018 which does this not scream Tyler the Creator to you but my best friend said she'd be embarrassed if I wore it so unrelated but we're no longer friends so Anyway, I'm keeping that. Okay, last two. I'm keeping these just like a classic black t-shirt. It's Mercury, Mercury. I can never pronounce that word right. That's like a boat company, right? I don't know, it's so cute, I like it. And then just a plain black long sleeve, which you always need. Okay, we're now down below to do sweaters, button-ups, cardigans, and zip-ups. Um, those are just the hangers from the clothes I'm donating. I'm just hanging them there for now. I know it looks messy, but just stick with me, please, okay? <laughs> anyway, I know I'm keeping like all of my turtlenecks, so we don't really need to go through them, but I think part of the fun of these videos is seeing what clothes I have, so I will show you because I love turtlenecks, but I have so many. I have two white turtlenecks, but as you can see, one is not ribbed and one is ribbed. This one's more for like layering because it is quite sheer, and the ribbed one is for wearing on its own. This one, beautiful. I love the style i want to get more like i love a striped turtleneck and then this is the green one i was talking about before it's quite short i had such a bad problem of like cropping shirts too short in like 2016 which is when i did like the most of my thrifting because i finally had money because i had a job you know but i'll reevaluate in the winter time if i'm really feeling like this isn't working and i'll see if i can find another green turtleneck at the thrift store you know this one I love one of the first turtlenecks I ever thrifted I just love it it has such a huge place in my heart so why do I talk about clothes like they're people <sighs> am I that lonely this I got from the bay it used to have like a white button up attached at the bottom but I cut it out and it's just so soft and I think it's such a winter vibe I hate saying the word vibe but I just did it and then I have this striped turtleneck. It's a little bit big, um, but it's really cute. And then just a plain black one. I got the black one and the white one from H&M. It's really hard to find just a plain white or plain black turtleneck at the thrift store, so I did have to buy those from H&M because... Yeah, they have good basics, and I do know when I shop basics from fast fashion, I do wear them for years and years. So yeah, not going into whole like ethics debate into this video. That's just what I do personally. I try not to shop fast fashion, but if I absolutely need a basic that I know I'm gonna be wearing for years, I'll get it from a fast fashion place. This sweater I always go back and forth on. It's from Forever 21, but I thrifted it, I'm pretty sure. Eh, I'll keep it. I just don't know if I like the fit, like it's like cropped, but yeah, I'll keep it. This is from Garage garage as well. I got it at the same time. I got that like green shirt from garage. Pink. It's cute. This color pink on my skin. Atrocious. I'm so pale. So I usually wear like a white turtleneck underneath this. Sorry, my card on my camera was full. So I had to excuse myself for a minute and fix that. <sighs> But anyway, as you can tell, I have a really soft spot in my heart for sweaters and turtlenecks. I, I, I don't know how to explain it without sounding like cheesy or deep, but I really do have such an intense feeling for fall and autumn. And I really couldn't explain to you what it is. I don't know why my heart just, it's so full. It, I absolutely love like scary movies, scary books, pumpkins, Halloween. I really do like... <sighs> It's like an old friend, an old friend that you're excited to meet every time it's September. And it's September 1st today, which I'm really excited about. So you can tell from my sweaters and stuff, I just love dressing for the fall and the winter. So a lot of these are just like tried and true that I love and I'm not gonna get rid of. So yeah, just like knit sweaters I enjoy. So I have a burgundy one, a blue one. This is what the brand looks like. And then a black and blue striped one, super cute. Love, so I'm keeping all of those. Honestly, I think I'm keeping all my sweaters. I have a navy one that I thrifted a long time ago with a little, like, it looks like a Yale sweater or something, you know, with a neckline. And yeah, 
yeah, I'm keeping all of these for sure. This one, I'm gonna put in my maybe pile. I Wow, it's still got a tag on it. I got it in an extra large because I wanted it to be like oversized, but I didn't realize it had like puffy shoulders. So it does fit a little weird. It's from the brand Monkey. I think I got it on ASOS or something when I ordered my platform loafer creeper shoe things. So yeah, and then this one I'm gonna try on as well. I love this sweater so much, but it shrunk in the wash. Like. Yeah, I made a mistake because I never put it in the dryer and then one time I left the house when my stuff was in the wash and my dad put it all in the dryer and this was in there and it's got wool in it so it shrunk. So I'll try it on. I think I remember the sleeves being way too short so I could probably donate it and someone smaller than me will be able to wear it normally but quite disappointing. Keeping these. This is a white button up that my grandma gave me but I don't like it because it doesn't button all the way up. It's like a weird kind of fit. I'd rather one that's like a men's style that buttons all the way up you know i do need a white button up i don't own one so donating that and then to have like a cream cardigan that you've seen a thousand times on my channel this my grandma also gave me it's so beautiful if you can see the sequence in it but it does have a stain on the zipper so i'm gonna take this out of my closet and try to get the stain out so i'll put it here for now but i've literally had that for like two or three years and i just haven't tried to get the stain out so yeah this i love i'm gonna wear it later today because i'm doing i'm filming a tiktok of like a taylor swift makeup look and i don't know i'm sure it'll be posted by the time this video is posted but it's like her vma was it the vmas her makeup look and she wore a really sparkly dress so i'm gonna wear this because it's really sparkly i got it on depop for free actually i ordered a couple things from this one girl and then she like threw in a couple things for free or something like that i don't know she was super sweet but love this shirt so i'll keep it out because i'm wearing it I love button-ups and this might be a problem. I like what I like and I just stick to it. <laughs> but this one I love, I thrifted a long time ago. It's a little bit on the smaller side. I do wish it was a bit bigger because I like cardigans to be a little more oversized and loose, but I like it. And then this one's quite big. I had to re-sew the buttons on it. I just don't know if I love the neckline on it. I've worn it once. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile to try on and just see. I love an ugly, like that's not ugly, but you know what? If it looks like something a grandma would wear, I would probably wear it and love it. I've just always been like that. I just love vintage, like grandma clothes. Like, I don't know. I've just really been leaning into style that I don't care about trends or fashion rules anymore. If I see something and I like it, I'll get it. Because keeping up with trends is just so difficult. I'll see a trend and be like, I like it, but I try to buy things that I fully love and aren't just like a five second little trend, you know? Anyway, another thing I love are funky button ups. I have two here. This one I love. Look at the pointy neckline. Like I just love it. And the orange color. It's such a weird material though. I wonder what, it, what does it say? It's acetate and nylon. It's like vintage from the 70s or something like that. I don't know. I got it on Depop. It was literally like $10 because I don't think anyone else wanted this, but I love it. So that's all that matters. And then the next one I love so much. It's like a sheer button up that's green with black lace on it. And then it's got a, like hints of blue. I'm not even kidding. I wear this all the time. I love it. And then this cardigan I love as well. It's from the brand Tanjay. It is a petite cardigan, which petite is made for like smaller women who are shorter, I'm pretty sure. And I'm not petite by any means. So <laughs> yeah, the sleeves are a little short, but oh, just look at the details on it. This is something a grandma would wear. My grandma would eat this up and she has because I've worn it with her and she loved it. So keeping that. This I always go back and forth on. I have this like purple flannel and I just can never figure out what kind of a vibe it's giving off. Like when I wear a flannel usually I'm going for the 90s kind of grunge like Nirvana fan you know like 90s grunge kind of vibe. This doesn't give that off. It kind of gives off horse girl and I'm just trying. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. It does spice up an outfit. It's a different color and you know what? Horse girls are usually pretty nice so this I'll admit was definitely a trend buy. But this I actually did wear with like a green tank top underneath and then a denim jacket on top and it was still cute. So I try to incorporate it in my life. So I'm gonna keep it because I do get use out of it. This I bought at the same time. I don't wear it. It's like a light green cardigan as you see, but it's so short and I just don't like it. So donate. 
And then I have two flannels. I just got this one um, in a thrift video that I showed you because I went to Valley Village and their flannels were literally like $20, like, or $25 or something insane. This one was $8, so I got it. And then I have this one that I've had for years, which I love. And then my DC zip up, which I wear all the time. Hangers. And then this. I haven't reached for this in a long time, but I want to. It's my guy Fieri, Fieri shirt. I'm not Italian. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's so funny though. And I'm keeping it. So do with that what you will. <sighs> anyway, that's those sections done. I'm going to leave for a bit because it's really hot in my house and I'm sweating. And then we'll come back. So see you later. I'm filming this way later. If you can't tell, um, I was wearing lipstick and then I took it off. So if it looks like I just made out with someone, I wish, but I did not. This is my makeup. It took forever. I don't want to take it off. So anyway, I think I'm just going to end the closet clean out there. I do have to go through my dresser and like decide. I have so many pairs of pants that I just don't wear anymore, but that's another day's problem. So one day at a time and I did my closet and that's good enough for now. So yeah, I'll give you a recap of all the clothes I'm donating. If you're curious, I just donate them to local thrift stores. I don't sell anything on Depop. It's just not worth it when you live in Canada when everything to ship, to ship even within the same province, it's like $18. So no thank you. It's just not worth it, you know? So donating. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. And I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, day, whatever else I may have missed. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.